Hey guys, welcome back to the next video and this time we are looking at a very good budget case. Should you buy this one? Okay, so when it comes to the overall uh, motherboard support, now it does support ATX, Micro ATX and Mini ITX, but also it does support BTF from ASUS as well as Project Zero from MSI, which for a case at this price point is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. So when it comes to the radiated support, it does support 360 at the top as well as the side. This case does have three include uh, four included Infinity Turbo Ring fans from CIT. GPU overall length is uh, 410 millimeters with a CPU cooler maximum height of 165 millimeters. So yeah it's not going to fit the biggest ones on the market so when it comes to the side as well as the bottom of the case when it comes to support for radiators supports 120s 240s and a 280 that's for the motherboard plate that's the side and the bottoms 120 240 and a 360 now the side does look like it would support a 360 millimeter rant as well but that could just be a mistake from the overall information that i'm reading but it does look from my keen eye that it does support 360 millimeter aio also it's got a panoramic uh, view as you can see from the case it's got side on each a uh, glass from each side and to be honest it does look rather nice in white but how much does this case cost well for 70 british pounds this case comes with four included argb infinity fans it comes with its own built-in argb controller which is standard argb as well as standard four pin pwm it supports btf from asus and it also supports project zero what are they well they are the ones where the cables are situated towards the back of the case it does have full support for atx power supplies and to be honest for the price it's an, a fantastic value for the money This is the CIT Vision ATX PC case. I'm going to put the mic up towards the fans at 50% fan speed. They are very quiet at 50%. Same thing about 100% fan speed. Yes, you can hear them at 100%, but they aren't the loudest fans I've ever heard. Okay, so as for cable management, now as you can probably see here, it supports a normal range of uh, ATX power supplies. It could reach, it could support a little bit bigger, but honestly, it's going to be a very tight squeeze here because at the end of the day, you've got to leave room for the cables when they come out of the overall connectors. That's of course if you get a fully modular 
power supply now what it comes to is the best probably best feature of this it does have a rgb controller which is magnetic but obviously as you can see the cable management is a little bit of a mess that's because the way the cables come out you this is where it comes out by here so this little thing by here this cover if you unscrewed that then you could probably make the cables look better but obviously this little cover here is for actually mounting two and a half inch ssds okay then so when it comes to the overall thermals now i have run two different types of tests i've run a cpu stress test on cinebench 23 with a 10 minute mark to see how far it goes this is standard fans the way it comes outside the box with the fans facing this way and they're pushing it out the back and also the gpu by here i did use fur mark 2 because that will push the, the gpu as well that was also a 10 minute run so for 5900x i didn't want to push it i wanted to keep it stock settings to see if this case can actually handle it because it does draw 145 watts out the box so let's see how it does so for cinebench r23 the 10 minute run idles of 30 celsius with a max of 79 now the rx 7600 xt graphs card it's not the most powerful but it still does get up there when it comes to temp so for gpu temperature the idles were 33 the max did go up to a 67 gpu junction temp idle was 50 the max is 70 and then a gpu hotspot this is the one you have to actually watch out for when it comes to amd cards because it can get rather hot the idles are 33 but it went up to a 96 celsius that's with the standard fans so i put the fans in a pull basically pulls air from the back inside the case for 5900x cinebench 23 10 minute run idles 28 and the max cpu test this time was 72 celsius gpu idles 33 max 73 celsius gpu junction tap idle 50 max 74 and the gpu hotspot temp this is where it's going to actually be interesting because the idle is 34 with a max of 94 celsius okay so you've got 360 millimeter aio support at the top you can put a 280 you can put a 240 or a 120 it supports 120 at the back it supports three 120s at the bottom three 120s at the side it supports btf from asus it supports project zero from msi what is that that means the connectors are pointed out toward the back of the case instead of the traditional layout of a motherboard which Considering the price, £70, it's fantastic for the value. It supports a 410mm graphs card. That's probably the biggest, which is probably around a 1490, which is kind of crazy. A £70 case can support the biggest GPU on the market. Now, yes, 1490s can get hot, absolutely massive, but this will fit them all. It's crazy. Now, I don't like the way the fans are out of the box as you can probably see the problem right here they're blowing uh, out the back which that is not what should be the way it should be blowing pulling air through the back inside the case to help the temperatures that should that definitely did show in the thermal benchmarks with the cpu primarily the gpu that was a hit and miss but that's just one of them things but the cpu definitely does perform better in terms of thermals when it comes to pulling the air through the case inside now that's probably the only nitpick i'm really going to say because other than that the overall build quality is not bad for 70 pound i think it's a fantastic value for the money if you want to buy it i will leave links down to amazon down below make sure you check it out because honestly i think if you're looking for a case for your for your kid for christmas this is a fantastic option for the price. £70, absolute bargain. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe because it does. I do appreciate you guys giving likes and sub into the channel. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic week as well as the weekend. This is Richard Welchie Tech. Goodbye.